Hey guys, Mike here. So today's cult classic review is 1980's Flash Gordon, starring Sam J. Jones as Flash Gordon. In Flash Gordon, Flash and his friends end up getting sent to the planet Mongo, where they have to fight this evil tyrant known as Ming the Merciless and save the Earth. And so we have Flash Gordon. So guys, this is a movie that before reviewing it today, I had not seen it before. But to be honest, I was quite looking forward to seeing this movie because everyone was saying how super cheesy it is and how just insanely entertaining it is because it's just such a trashy movie. So you know what, a movie that leans into how trashy it is, you know, it's got to be a good time. And I gotta say, I kind of have a couple of mixed feelings about this movie because yes, this movie is cheesy as hell and everyone who made this movie obviously knew what they were making. Everyone looked like they had a whale of a time making this one, though a lot of the performances are wooden as hell. Everyone looked like they had fun making this movie, especially Brian Blessed. He's pretty much up to his usual standards of being the loudest person in the room. And as soon as Brian Blessed comes on screen, that's when the movie really gets good. Because his character is easily the best in the movie. And obviously the effects are super, super dated. But honestly, I think that really lends itself to the cheesy nature of this movie. Because yes, the effects obviously are of their time. But imagine if they probably put a bit more effort into it. It wouldn't have had the same impact that it does now. Because honestly, I don't think putting more money into the effects would have particularly saved this movie. Even if they had the best effects in the world, this movie would still be super, super cheesy. Though i got to say, when they go all out in the fight scenes, the gun scenes, all the stuff like that, that's where it's really entertaining and super cheesy. Though I did find that towards the middle point of this movie is where it really starts to slow down and where it actually became quite boring. Because honestly, this is not a good movie. So when it slows down and more or less nothing is happening, it really starts to show the quality of this film. However, when they're pretty much throwing everything against the wall and seeing what will stick, that's when it's at its most entertaining. Because when Flash Gordon goes all out, it goes all out. Honestly though, the best part about Flash Gordon is the Queen soundtrack. If you want to take your movie to the next level, you get Queen to do the soundtrack. And there's nothing like hearing Flash by Queen to get you really pumped up for a scene. And though they play this song constantly, it never fails to get you pumped up for a scene. So guys, would I consider Flash Gordon a personal cult classic, and would I recommend that you guys should watch it? Honestly guys, even though I had somewhat of a good time watching this movie, and it definitely is as cheesy as it promises itself to be, honestly, I don't really think I would put this as a personal favourite. And honestly, I don't really think I liked it all that much. Because honestly, as soon as the movie was over, I just thought, well, I would never watch that again. One time was enough. And as for recommending it to you guys, honestly, I probably wouldn't recommend it either, because if you want to watch an actual good movie then you should stay far away from this one however if you're willing to embrace the cheese and just watch an absolutely trashy movie then flash gordon's definitely the one for you but in all honesty i didn't really like it all that much and i wouldn't necessarily recommend it to anyone okay guys that's my cult classic review of flash gordon do you love it do you hate it whatever you think drop it in the comments below until next time i've been michael see ya